Hello everybody, this is Sir Arnold Washington, this is another Oral Washington rant. Uh, today, I want to talk about the, the topic of suicide. Um, the reason why I want to talk about topic about suicide because I know that right now uh, we all are in, in what the world, world calls, quote unquote, the holiday season. I know within the world holiday season, this is the one season where a lot more people, you know, they're feeling thankful about certain aspects of their life and you know then they uh, you know they they feel appreciative and also they feel like um, this is the time to you know to be um, humble and and hostile and stuff as well you know what I'm saying where you just want to you know give out gifts and uh, you know and all that stuff to people just to show them appreciation of how to uh, you know how much on love and support that you have for them and stuff now, the positive part of the holiday season, as I mentioned, you know, it's all cool and fine and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying, we have to understand that there are other people out here who are actually really, really on dealing with, dealing with some things in their life and stuff, you know what I'm saying? They're dealing with, um, they're dealing with uh, hopelessness, they're dealing with despair, they're dealing with, uh, you know, uh, substance abuse, they're dealing with all sorts of things, you know what I'm saying, mental illness um, and all kind of things that they're dealing with and stuff, you know what I'm saying, which these things, you know what I'm saying, that, 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 that I'm just mentioning about the stuff, it leads to, you know, suicide, in which that's what I'm going to about today, it's about suicide. Now, first of all, stuff I want to uh, I want to make note and mention to everyone, you know what I'm saying, who's ruining ruin this rent, is that uh, every, just about everyone has has the mindset or the tendency um, to have a suicide thought, you know what I'm saying? In other, in other words, uh, you know, everyone thinks about suicide, you know what I'm saying? Everyone has a suicidal thought. It don't matter, you know, if you're a man or a woman, or if you're, if you're a child. Um, well, I haven't seen cases of animals even having suicide tendencies or suicide thoughts and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because they be feeling hopelessness, despair, and all the stuff there as well. And stuff, you know what I'm saying? But all of us have this thought. So like, um, if if you if you tell yourself that you never had like a suicide thought ever, stuff like that, then you lie to yourself, and the truth is not in you at all. Period. You know what I'm saying? Because everyone everyone has dealt with one point or another where uh, a certain situation in life was was so great in your mindset that. You you just wanted to just give it all up and stuff. You just want to give it all away because you, because in most cases, uh, you feel that the only peace that you get get in life is just in your life. You know what I'm saying? That way you can be at your eternal sleep or you know, uh, be connected to God if you believe in God. You know what I'm saying? Be connected like that and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. If you don't, if you think that you never thought of suicide thought, or if you think it's just only certain people with mental disorders that things have a suicide tendency, then you is most definitely wrong. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I could personally um, uh, contest that on uh, one point or another that, that I did have like um, uh, different, you know, suicidal thoughts and stuff like that. And the reason why is because, um, you know, my situation changed and stuff dramatically were uh, things that I was working hard for um, end up uh, just suddenly just being... Um, um, Remove out of my life, in other words, and stuff. So, if you if you used to something like that, that's something that that you used to want bring happiness and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And hope to you, and, and that all of a sudden gets taken away from you. Then yes, it'll bring you despair. It'll bring you hopelessness. You know what I'm saying? Even bring you to the point of having suicidal tendencies and thoughts and stuff. You know what I'm saying as well and stuff. So this on um, this rant, I want to this um just mention about suicide. Um, period and stuff on uh, you know um I just want to mention real quick about this some some quick on um, risk factors about suicide um in this rant there you know what I'm saying then from there at the end of this rant and stuff on uh, I, I will place a um a one eight hundred number as well you know what I'm saying just in case if you or anyone you know probably having having these thoughts and stuff like that they can reach out and um talk to someone as well and stuff in and um and also at the end of this rent and stuff too, if you feel like you wanna um chat with me and stuff like that, you having issues and stuff like that, you know, I'm more than welcome to also uh chat and communicate with you as as well. You know what I'm saying? So let's go deeper 
about suicide. There are, there are different risk factors that you need to pay attention to about suicide. You know what I'm saying? One of us, what I already mentioned about, you know, this life issues that, you know, your life does change and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, cause certain condition that your life change, like the most common change that many people deal with is like um, a person losing Jamaica, lose a job, and you know they become broke, or you know you was part of a relationship where if you're married or cohabitated or whatever way you're doing, and you end up getting out of that relationship, especially if you love that person and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Another event dealing with you know uh, you know your family, your children, like say for example one of you, uh, either you know your husband, your wife, or any one of your family members pass away that you're really, really close to or fond of, you know what I'm saying? That's a risk factor as well, you know what I'm saying? I have suicide tendencies. Um, religion also plays a part of one suicide tendencies, believe it or not, and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because some, some, people, some people are very dogmatic in what they believe in, and they play such um, oppress, oppression Two people where where it causes them to want to have suicide tendencies, and I was looking at the church as the last resort or religion, that that matter as the last resort as for some type of comfort and stuff. So that religion would come a risk factor too. Not to mention that there are religious practices where they actually um, condone suicide. They uh, like it's different, uh, you know, um, um, Japanese customs and um, that that are condone some suicide. They act as it's a uh, act of honor. You know what I'm saying? Encourage, you know, and do that and stuff. And there are other cultures that, that participate that as well and stuff too. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, um, and, you know, other risk factors, uh, and it includes, uh, you know, medical t conditions, like I mentioned earlier, about mental disorders or, um, you know, um, you know, also, you know, social you know what I'm saying, where, where, you, where you feel like you're not fitting into the, the, the group. You feel like you're an outcast, you're not fit into society, you feel like nobody in the society don't care about you and stuff like that, and that becomes a risk factor as well. Um, bullying in the school, that becomes a risk factor, that became more popular and stuff like that in, in this century, as well as, um, you know, the social media as well, that, that also becomes a risk factor because a lot of people... Um, uh, attack people, you know, on social websites like Facebook and Twitter and all the stuff there and destroy their life. But a lot of celebrities and stuff, especially as, um, if information get leaked out about certain celebrities and stuff like that, that they want to be leaked out and it happen, you know what I'm saying, that they don't know how to cope with that and that causes, you know what I'm saying, for them to have a suicide tendency as well and stuff, you know what I'm saying. So these are different risk factors that you need to pay attention to about, you know, uh, about suicide and stuff too. Now, what can we do as, you know, us as an individual and, you know, everybody else to do to help people and, you know, to cope with, you know what I'm saying, not having these suicide tendencies and thoughts and stuff. Well, first of all, is that the first and most important part that you need to understand is that you should not have a judgmental mindset or heart towards that person. You can't, can't have a mindset thinking that, that you're better than that person. Well, I'm better than that. I never thought about suicide and what they're doing is wrong and the Bible wrong, blah, 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 blah. And also, no, that is wrong. You should not have that mindset to help that person. Rather, you, you should have a mindset like, you know, how this in the season right now and stuff. The season of giving, you know, the season of caring and stuff like that. You should have a compassionate heart to want to help the person. You have to want um, open up. And, let, and allow also that person to open up to you. And the only way you're going to do that is for you to have, have a real humble heart and just allow the person just to want to talk to you, pour their heart out to you, and let you know what's going on with them and stuff. Then from that point on, you give them comfort and relief knowing that everything is going to be okay. And so I'm saying, no matter... Uh, no matter how hard the situation is, things is going to be okay, and you're sitting around people who love you and care about you, you know, so much and stuff that they want to see you through, and we're going to follow up and see you through and stuff like that, I'm, you know what I'm saying, we're going to see you through, we're going to help you the best way that we possibly can help you and stuff, you know what I'm saying. So see, these are some of the things that you could do. If you feel uncomfortable about, you know what I'm saying, engaging a person who's have like suicide tendencies and stuff like that, I, I do recommend that you um that, that you reach out to someone who's more professional with it. You know what I'm saying? Like like for example, I myself I'm uh you know, I'm more skilled and professional with, you know, talking to people dealing with suicide tendencies, as well as, you know, uh, other people like uh, you know, um religious people, um 
um, you know, like pastors and stuff like that and stuff. Or, you know what I'm saying, like some leaders on 1-800-HOTLINE, uh, you could contact the hotline as well and stuff. And they could reach out to the person, you know, as well, you know, professionally and be able to um, help the person as well. You know what I'm saying? Now, what, now um, what can you do as an individual to prevent yourself from the suicidal um, tendencies and stuff? Uh, well, what you can do is that, uh, you know, uh, I'm me. I, I personally recommend that you know what I'm saying if you if you're not a believer or, or the Most High God and stuff, I do recommend that you get acquainted with who God really is in, in our life. I know there are many um, teachings right now that are, that are teaching that you know God doesn't exist or you know other dogmatic things and stuff like that. But what I'm sharing with you is that I want you to personally get to know God for yourself so you can have your own conclusion in your own mind about who God really is. That way you can work out your own salvation, you know what I'm saying, where nobody else is not condemning you or judging you because you're not doing what they're doing. You're doing what, what you feel that's right in your heart to follow God and stuff. So I, I personally recommend that uh, you you uh, seek out that relationship with the Most High God. I recommend that you, know, you get spiritually connected. Um, not only with God, but also get spiritually connected with real good, wholehearted people who <clears throat> who are really spiritually connected. Not religious, but who are really spiritually connected. They will help you during your process and your journey. I also recommend that uh, that that also that that you stay away from substance abuse. You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about alcohol. I'm talking about drugs. Well, if it's light, heavy drugs, whatever. Um, I recommend that you want to stay, stay away from these things because these drugs are um, drugs are actually a gateway, you know what I'm saying, within the mind. So people don't realize that drug is actually um, triggers um, different uh, neurons and stuff in, in your mind to uh, trigger these thoughts into your minds and, and stuff like that to cause you to uh, behave irrationally, you know what I'm saying. Even those people who have suicide tendencies, it's, you know, rational to them and stuff, you know what I'm saying. So I recommend that you want to, you know, uh, seek help, stay away from uh, substance drugs and stuff like that, and um, strengthen yourself on um, spiritually as well. You know what I'm saying? So uh, my my time is up on on this um, particular uh, rant topic, uh, and I hope that uh, you um gather gather some um, basic insights about you know suicide. Um, just like I say, uh, um, if anyone if anyone you you do uh, you know feeling despair, hopelessness, and stuff like that, uh, reach out to me. You can uh, chat with me. Uh, you can uh, hit me up on the comments on my Facebook. Uh, you can um, chat with me personally and stuff. And you know we'll, we'll go through it and stuff. And I even recommend you to some uh, some uh, other things as well. Um, so fight faith with faith, and God bless y'all.